How are we doing, folks? So today we're going to be addressing something, um, as you can gauge from the description of the video. It's going to be teleportation on consoles. Now I've had a quick look out there, and I can't seem to see anything that does address this, um, which is surprising. I mean, especially given that console community server owners are extremely restricted in terms of what they can and can't do. Um, so, fingers crossed this should help you a little bit, albeit in some sort of limited capacity. So, for this, you're going to need three items. You're going to need the first one, a kitchen timer. Second one, a pox vial. Third one is an improvised explosive. So, a case with the electrical wire inside. Um, now, we'll pop over to the um, the interface, and I'll try to interface. And I'll show you exactly what you need to be doing to your server to, to make this work and then we'll come back and um, and I'll show you it in action. So here we are over on the uh, the Nitrado dashboard. Okay, so there is a few things to know before you do start doing this. Um, what you want to do is go into your file browser and we're going to be working with what's called the CFG effect area JSON. Okay, so I'm going to load it up and just look at it. Now you'll notice this um, this file in particular deals with all of your static contaminated areas. So you don't want to leave these alone unless, of course, you've already got them disabled on your server. Um, but the bit that we're really interested in is if we scroll all the way down, we're going to be looking at the safe positions. So the way this works is essentially when gas was introduced to Daisy servers um, many moons ago. When an area was hit with a gas explosion, there'd be all these little save points. And what the game would do is if an unfortunate player had logged off within one of those zones and that zone was hit whilst they're offline, they would be respawned or moved with all of the gear over to one of these points. Okay. So... The way the teleportation is going to work is we're going to exploit this, and I'm sure you can pretty much see where we're going with this already. So what we're going to do is, naturally, first of all, we're going to back it up. And then we're going to delete everything but one. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to come over to your I survive. You want to pick where on the map it is you want to be teleporting your character to. So as you can see, I'm going to zoom all the way into Stilisky Islands. I'm going to come down to this one. I've already picked out some coordinates. And all you're going to do is you're going to manually fill in codes. You want to put in coordinates for this particular one. 13100 Now you want to save this. So that's saved. Okay. Come back up to the very top and you want to reset your server. Now it is important to know when you're doing this, it's only really going to be practical for servers that have got no gas grenades active on them, and no dynamic gas events. So the gas events that drop out the sky, for of course reasons that we've just, just discussed, being that players could drop in, log into a server where those have happened, and they'll be teleported over to where you've set this coordinate, because of course it's the closest one, because it's the only one that's left, which will, naturally, it's gonna, it's gonna break immersion. Now, on some servers that's not gonna happen, because of course you've disabled the, the dynamic gas events and you've disabled the dynamic grenades in all of the forms um, so as I say the static ones are fine you can keep those on there um, so let's pop back over to the PlayStation server and see this in action so just a quick note before we do go back over there 
Now, this safe positions area needs to be formatted exactly like this. I'm sure as you can imagine, because I've popped this in afterwards, um, I didn't, didn't quite realize that I made the mistake of leaving in a little comma here like this. So make sure you get rid of that and make sure you save it. Otherwise, this won't work and you'll be sat in a, you'll be sat in a pool of gas bleeding to death. Alright, so here we are back on the test server. Now, I'm going to um, demonstrate how the teleportation usually works. And um, this does have a lot to do with the time that you set to log off. Now, a standard is normally 15 seconds. I do believe that is vanilla. But what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take this bag across and show you that you can take pretty much, well, pretty much anything that you can carry um, as a character. And I do believe you might even be able to take barrels or chests, anything that you can get into your hands. Um, also, however, I haven't tested this, so it's definitely going to be worth having a bit of a uh, fiddle around with and just seeing what you can and can't do. So I'm going to drop uh, drop this knife, because I'll be needing that um, very shortly. So what you need to do is take an improvised explosive, and you want to stick in a grenade, which will be in there. I'm going to drop this on the ground. Okay, now the trick to this is getting this timer to do one click. And that's going to give you essentially enough time to get out of the server for this to explode and then for you to then come back in. I like to usually give it 30 seconds. You can give it 45 or a minute if you want to. And then that'll then shoot you across our particular um, our particular target is still a Skiarden, which is, of course, it's the bottom right -hand corner of the map. So we're going to give it a go. So it's one. Yep, we're gonna arm the explosive. And for time purposes I will jump cut this for when forty five seconds has passed. So you'll get this warning immediately, which is which is pretty standard um, when you move out of a, um, a, a gas area when you log into that. What you do, just click on a stand, and here we are. We're, we're over on the coast. As you can see, we've got all the gear with us that we need. Now, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that um, that you're you're thinking of all the ways that you can use this to you know to, to access areas of the map that are very very far away. Um, now, understand. This is in the limited capacity because essentially what it, what you need to imagine it as is kind of like an anchor point. So, for example, I like to set mine up in Sunny Stop because that's where I base that on my um, on my community server. And having that teleportation location means that I can go out to the south coast, or I can go out and do a base takedown. I'm um, and it's going to take me half the time essentially because I can then just drop one of those um, one of those gas grenades and be back up the coast um, at the foot of my base in no time flat. Now, of course, you could you could use this to to access areas for events, or you could just set a central location for a trader and get players to jump across to that. There is there's numerous ways you can use it. Now, if you wanted to switch that spawn point. So when you hit the gas, it takes you over there, but you want to get back, um, you will need to sit a reset. However, you can use this as many times as you like, and it won't affect anything else on the server. So just know that going in. This is my very first um, sort of long-form video, in info video, if you like, um, demonstrating just, just some cool stuff that we can that we can do on the, uh, on the community servers. And I do hope this helps you out. Um, Give us some feedback in the comments, give us a like, and if of course you do want to see a little bit more like this, um, then do give our channel a subscribe.